everybody Merry Christmas you won't believe I probably did 20 minutes of this reading and this is a new phone <laughs> my Christmas present my ex iPhone 11 Pro and it wasn't taping so that was a lovely start Merry Christmas I hope you all had a good Christmas mine was good I did actually Christmas Eve my father was a, a firefighter so I was always used to sometimes, you know, we would pick different days to do our Christmas because sometimes he worked Christmas. So um, my kids always wanted to open their presents sooner. So I got in the habit of doing Christmas Eve, doing the big dinner and everything. Christmas was just for chillaxing. So I've been chillaxing. I told my friend I'd do a video today and he's probably like, what? Biosh, where's my video? But I just have not been able to get it going. I've been watching. I watched The Watcher. Or Witch. Not The Watcher. The Witch. Uh, Witchum on Netflix. With that gore, gore, uh, hunk of burning love. The guy who played Superman. Hello. <laughs> Got my little bell out. Hello. <laughs> Holy cow. So, you know, it's kind of like Game of Thrones. I guess it's based on a game. But I'm not a gamer. But I'm... <laughs> I finished all eight episodes and I plan on watching again. Although tonight I got a little fire going. I took a little picture of it. I'll show you guys after this video. And then I plan on watching The Crown. That's my next. It's kind of nice to be able to relax, you guys. I actually have this weekend. I have readings in the morning, but I'm not working at Angel Heart. So it's kind of cool. Thank you guys for all the gifts and well wishes. I have to sit down and go through and thank everyone. Thank you so much. I Everybody is just so fantastic. You guys rock. Okay, so listen, I'll go ahead and tell you. <laughs> so I wanted to know about the Christmas surprise with North Korea. So I took a look. See, I didn't see anything. I see maybe he does a missile test, but it's no like we're going to get bombed in a city or anything. But I felt like Trump and his organization was really on Jim Kung, Jim Young, whatever his name is. And I felt like they were, Trump doesn't want to look foolish to the American public. And, and this guy turning on him makes Trump look like a bad negotiator. And I almost felt like they did something for him, like they gave him money or something, okay? They've done something for him. Which is, you know, this guy doesn't learn, does he? But anyway, they've done, they've helped him with something because his wish came true. He was happy. So I think he's happy because America ha does something for him. And I also think whatever he's planning is going to be okay, but it doesn't destroy us. Okay. Because they already have nukes, tons of nukes. Okay. And listen, let me tell you something else. It's really weird. I read for these two lovely sisters that um, um, are Iranian. And I said, oh, I bet you guys will be happy when Trump goes. And she said, you know what, Linda? American Iranians, they like Trump. They like him. I said, why? Because they hope that he overrule Trump attacks that regime. They hate the regime that's in there. And they're thinking their only hope is that Trump is crazy enough to do something. So that was weird. I didn't realize that. He is crazy enough, but I don't see him doing anything right now. But um, so that was there. That was different. I also heard that, not heard, I saw it with my own eyes. In fact, <laughs> I was like so shocked when I saw it. But Donald Trump on Twitter announced that he has the highest IQ of anybody. Hands down. Highest IQ of anybody. He's not on a men's list and he had no proof. Like he, I, that's what I said to him. Oh, kind of like you, you have no problem with your showing your income taxes. Where's the proof? There's no proof, but he can say anything he wants. And he just loves that power of just creating chaos. 
And the people around him have got to be sick and tired of this. Anyway, so then I looked at that Lisa, is that Murkowski, the one that thinks she doesn't like the what O'Connell's doing? She thinks that's not cool, saying, no, you can't have any witnesses. The trial is basically open and shut. So I looked at her, and you know we only need three. But I don't trust her either, because didn't her and Susan Collins say they weren't happy with um, um, Kavanaugh, and they still voted for him? And let me tell you something. Um, as soon as she said that, or it was an interview, I could feel the Republicans or the, you know, the vipers, the ones working in his hole, his hell hole, coming out slithering, you know, making threats and stuff like that. So, um, but I saw Trump coming into justice. So there was a 10 of swords, there was an eight of swords, there was a five of swords, there was a 10 of swords, if I just said it, sorry. And it's like, this guy's not good. So whenever they bring this trial forth, it's not going to work in his favor. And let me tell you something. He, uh, I looked at McGann. I, uh, it's really weird. I don't know how they could prevent McGann from testifying. But I'm almost feeling like he doesn't get in there. Maybe stuff is going to happen that's so big they don't need McGann. But I'm almost feeling like McGann, something with McGann, like he's tied or he can't do it or something like that. And Nancy bringing it forward was my next question. Nancy, are you, when are you going to hand the Senate? Oh, we didn't get due, due process. We didn't get to use our attorneys. All bunch of lies. They, got, they had ever, every opportunity invited to come. Bring your attorneys. He had attorneys there. But no, these they're just unhappy because I got voted in. Well, more people voted not for you, Donald Trump, than for you, okay? How about those other millions of people that didn't vote for you? And no, he's not going to win, even if he was to go up. I don't care what psychic said. Oh, Donald Trump's going to win again. I cannot fathom it. I can't. But, you know, I'm trying to think logical. And also, I can't stand him, and it's hard to read someone you don't like because he's so cruel and mean. But I had that fantastic dream, and so when I'm in an unconscious state, when I saw him dead in a glass coffin, and we're all going to witness his demise, he's not physically dying. I mean, he will end, okay? God forbid something happened, he did get voted in, he will win, and he will, he will end. He will end tragically. So it's drama. It's it's heartache, it's shock, and it's we're going to clean out this whole mess. And McConnell, by the way, just got another billion dollars from Russia. That was just in Twitter. I can't confirm it. But he just got another billion dollars. That's what they're saying. Where the hell does Russia get all this money? It's amazing how much money they can pour into other people. The one with the econ economy, no better than Italy. So I don't know what the heck. Okay, so Nancy, what's in your head right now? What are you planning? So whatever they're bringing forward, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's like things are going to happen. McConnell may try to try. He may do something that he thinks he's getting away with it, but it, it, it's going to be so unsure. Okay, let me tell you this. If McConnell actually is able to create madness like say yeah well this is done and no you can't have that and no you can't have this and I'm king for a day and I'm I'm for the man with the high IQ if he does that it's and sh shoes this under the table it's going to work against them you know because honest to God Trump was shocked that he got impeached in the in Congress his minions around him was like, oh, listen, listen. And I even feel like people underhandedly were, were trying to get a hold of them, you know, trying to invite them to lunch. That's how he does it. He finds everybody to lunch. Um, try this beautiful chocolate cake. I'm telling you, he's, he's slithering. He's, and he, and he won't, he'll listen to them. And he's like, you're all fake news. And then when he got impeached, it was like, whoa, but his guy stuck with him. 
That's the most important part, but it's not gonna be the same way in the Senate. It's not gonna be the same way in the Senate. Don't ask me why, I just know that. He'll get a couple of defectors, but does he get enough? And you, know, you Democrats, and you know, Comey was a Democrat. No, he's not. Mueller was a Democrat. No, he's anybody that goes against him. It's a conspiracy, it's this and that, whatever. You know, it's very tiring, and I'll be very happy to go into 2020 knowing this is our last year of the drama. Okay, Nancy, what's your game plan, sweetie? I wonder if I just got a hit on her because I just heard someone say, don't you know, I'm just trying to relax with my family. I don't even want to think about this. Everybody's kind of tired. I see Adam Schiff just reading. I don't know what that is. He's reading. He's reviewing things, reviewing paperwork. Okay, what do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? She's running around right now. They're definitely waiting on this. They're definitely gonna wait on this. And, but then look at the outcome card. People will be celebrating. Um, and there is a man coming forward that's gonna testify that's gonna just drown Trump. Um, but here, see, look, they're definitely going to hold on. And the full card shows, which is an Aries card. So, I mean, are they going to wait till April? Could they possibly wait that long? The thing is, if they wait too long, then people are thinking, you know, you're just playing a partisan game. But whatever they've got is going to be devastating. Okay, that I can tell you. And I do see the Supreme Court saying his tax records have to come out. But it feels like they're, they're going to negotiate. Like it's not all of it, but some of it. Oh, that Kavanaugh is such a piglet. Kavanaugh, go ahead and pack your bag, sir. Because as soon as Trump is out, and those guys know. That's why they're desperate to keep him in. Because if he goes, they're all out. They will impeach Kavanaugh. Trust me, I've told you this. I've promised you this, and it's. I saw him getting in when everybody was upset. Please, Linda, don't say he gets in. And I said, I can't help it. He's going to get in. But I saw right when he's getting comfy in his seat, someone take him by the short, shoulder and escorting him out. So he's he's going. Okay, so yeah, there's a look. There's a delay with it, and there's more information coming out. So let's look at January for Trump. Okay. January, poor Trump. January for Trump. <sighs> January for Trump. Tell me about January for Trump. January for Trump. Okay. Tell me about January for Trump. Okay. I don't know why it's just so like a tidal wave. Huge tidal wave. Is it a literal tidal wave or is it the tidal wave of January? Um... He's not happy. He's obsessed, which he always is. Here's that justice card. So he thinks something is not going to go in his favor. Something he's been waiting on is going to turn on him. Um, he's not out of office yet, you guys. He's busy trying to hoard money, hide money. There's something with money that feels like it's... 
he thinks he's king. I mean, that's the bottom line. He thinks he's king. Oh, I saw that uh, Star Wars, you guys. It was pretty good. I liked it. I'm not a Star Wars follower or fan, but I like Adam Driver. <laughs> and it was everything I wanted it to be. It was a good movie. Okay, so I just, and somebody said the bombshell's no good. I don't care. I'm still going to see it. I'll probably see it tomorrow. I want to see it. Anything that's against Trump, I want to see. Okay, so it is very good. It is, um, it is, he's not getting kicked out, but justice is biting at his backside. So he's not doing very well. He's trying to hoard money. He's trying to hide his money situation. He's trying to gain strength. And I'm almost feeling, because I don't like Melania either. You know, her her father was like a gangster. And uh, they all got the Einstein visas. They're going to be looking at that when he's gone too. But I'm almost feeling like she's a little tired of him. I don't know why I got that, but that's what I got. Okay, so January for Trump. We look, let's look at January for the Democrats. Is there anything that de Democrats can be excited about? And don't you hate how the Democrats that are running are biting each other and fighting with each other? Oh, you, those Republicans kick back and laugh. You guys gotta stop doing that. What are we gonna tell everybody? What are we gonna tell everybody, Nancy, about the Democrats? Is there anything we should know? I see Adam Schiff reading. Adam Schiff is reading. He's he's bringing in, oh, they want Adam Schiff to testify. He should, because he'd knock him out of the park. Um, no more deaths, thank you. Sometimes, Pelosi gets a little too wound up in her panties. Um, she's she's confident, but sometimes sometimes she's not looking clearly. She's um, they're just in a holding pattern, you guys. It's just collective collecting information. They're waiting on something. And you know what's interesting? These little spies that Trump have feel like they kind of give them a heads up about what's going on. Oh, they're getting it. They're bringing out this information. And he just keeps talking on Twitter. Somebody's even said, I think it's Steve Miller. Leave him alone. Because it's like he creates chaos and that's what they want. They want nothing but chaos. He did the same thing in 2018, you guys. He said, if you vote Democrat, you, you were going to lose your health care insurance. And guess what? They're doing everything in their power to remove the health care insurance. They've just told the, told the pork industry, you don't have to go through any kind of background. You do your own background. Go ahead and throw junk in there. So I guess we won't be eating pork ever again. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to get back in, on track, but it, it is so ugly. It's almost like it's dripping of a negative soul energy. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you guys a little story before I go of a client that I read. And, I, and the reason I want to tell you guys this story is because the beauty and the love, when you cross over there, it's nothing but pure love. And it's, don't weep for the family. They are with you energetically. They are okay. There's nobody really that's that bad. Even Trump, I hate to say it when he dies, he'll have a helping hand over there. And let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you this story. So I read for a client, I'm not going to say any names, and she has a daughter who was married to a guy that was like, I looked at him and could see like the demon going in and out of his body. He, the got poor guy, never had a chance. He had a bad childhood. He had served jail time and he had all this ugly negative. So he was acting out. Now this, her daughter loved this guy you know she didn't want to leave him she loved him but it was very hard to deal with him because he would change on a dime he was abusive energetically and um sometimes she was like walking on eggshells so I'm reading for this woman it was costing the woman and her husband a lot of money to make sure they always had places to stay because I think he would kind of act out and it would end wherever they were staying 
So I'm reading her and I says to her, because I could see this guy's energy. I said, you know what? I don't see him in the picture much any longer. And he's young, you know, he's like 40 something, I think. I don't see him in the picture much longer. And she said, what do you mean? And I said, he's either, you know, and it's not for me. They tell me, because it's not for me to predict death, but they were saying to me, he's either going to die or he's going to jail where he'll be locked away. But I saw him being removed from the picture. I know that sounds cray cray, but okay. She got a hold of me. Maybe a month later, two months, I don't remember. She said, Linda, oh my God. She said, I, my daughter's husband had some, some, he was doing something and he went into a rage. He grabbed a pistol, she said, and my daughter had locked herself up in the house and took the rifle and shot him through the door and killed him. And it was like, holy crap. But needless to say, this beautiful energy form, her daughter, who's a very, very loving. It's interesting. She was so loving and she loved him so much. And then, you know, he was flying around her with this black energy. She goes, Linda, she really needs a reading because she, you know, of course, she's not going to get arrested. It was self-defense. But still, it was, you know, horrible, horrible. I said, OK, but I was a little nervous about checking in with him, you know, because I wasn't sure. Would he be this black energy trying to come at, after me? You know, how dare you say I was leaving? So I read for the for the wife uh, and probably he'd been gone at least three months, okay? So sometimes I don't even read people w with their loved ones until at least three to six months after the, they pass. Oh my God, this beautiful, by the way, very handsome man comes through in total light and love. He was just this bright, you know, you would think you'd say, oh, yeah, he had some stuff he had to go through, but he had a black mass on him. And when he went into the light, it was gone. And he so loved her and was so apologetic to her. She knew, you know, she's like, honey, don't even go there. I understand. Kind of gave her what he felt should be done with certain things they needed to shore up. But he was with her. He was loving, he was kind, he wasn't mad that he was gone. He totally understood. You know, she, he worried about her having to live with that. Oh my God, I had, I took my, my husband's life. I don't recommend going out and shooting anybody or killing anybody that's, uh, that's angry. But if you were ever in a self-defense, it was so interesting. It's, it's like when I read people that have been murdered and a lot of times I've seen like this one particular one young guy, I could see him as clear as day. He was young. He was a wonderful man. He was shot. And the mother was so furious about, you know, these young men that had killed him. And this kid was like, Ma, drop it. Let it go. Don't dwell in that. Be alive for me in the minute. You know, I'm good. This was all something that was supposed to take place. So it's like, you know, maybe their energy wouldn't be as well because they did it without, you know, she was totally frightened. Actually, she didn't think she was going to kill him. She thought she'd scare him and then boom, you know. So I just want you to know that I have seen over there, I have felt that absolute, infinite, omnipresent love by something outside of us all. And that omnipresent love and that energy, see, that's why we can't get up, caught up in Trump too too much because we're in that desperate, you know, dear God, get rid of him. And then we're in hate. So we're hating as much, like I noticed the Twitter banter kind of goes crazy. Oh my God, look what she's wearing. It's like, don't do that, that's what they do. Just be calm, allow, he's going. That I can tell you, he's going. And unfortunately, he's going in shame. Well, maybe fortunately. Sorry, I didn't mean that. But there's a lot of drama getting ready to happen, you guys. And just batten down the hatch. Now, I don't know if I'll do future, well, maybe I will. I'll do a 20, maybe I'll get one of my, my girls to, maybe Jenny Lynn or somebody to do a backup. We can talk about the future. For 2020 but 
you know, we, there's only so many ways we can say this to you. He's going. Okay. And I, the reason I keep doing the, the, the videos because I really should stop. I mean, when I told you guys the first time he's gone, I should leave it at that. Now you have to stand in faith and know that it's true. But it, for some reason, you guys are telling me when I, um, you're booking readings and stuff, Linda, it calms me. I need this. There's something when you say this that helps me. So know that this too shall pass and know that there was a reason for him to come in and know that we're going to get on our hands and knees with toothbrushes and scrub that mother out. You know what I'm saying? This guy's got to go. And I even see Miller running. <laughs> you know, remember I told you I saw Putin running too. Something's coming up with Putin. We'll look at that. I'll, I don't know if I'll do tomorrow or the next day. I'm off this weekend. I can't believe it. I can't. I do. I am going to a party on the 28th for a friend's um, birthday. I'm looking forward. I'm making uh, uh, chili verde. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My Hispanic side. If y'all need the recipe, I'll be happy to post it for you. Okay, you take care. Ciao. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays.